It's cool enough outside now to where I probably won't run into any of those slithering things. Um, there are cottonmouth around here. They're not as prominent as Copperhead because we're a little bit further up north into the mountains. Um, we are at the Jim Henkel Hatchery. You can see that across the way here. Um, there's a few people fishing this morning. And uh, I'm looking forward to getting after them. Let's go join them. There's some deep holes, and if you can coax the, coax the right fish at the right time, it might come up with something. Make sure that reel seat's tight. Had a follow on that one. Oh, that was a nice bass. Oh my goodness, that was a real nice bass. A little spinner bait. I've been here for about 15 minutes, haven't connected, tried a few different things, and the trout are just starting to rise up. I'd like to target more than just trout today, um, but I also want to be able to get some connections, catch a few fish here. This is a little rooster tail in a sort of a brown trout pattern. This is a fairly deep pool. There are trout in it. There's also some really pretty uh, large mouth, small mouth, and I'm pretty sure I saw a Kentucky spot in here. One of the first things that I threw this morning chased my woolly bear. I have since lost my woolly bear. There's a fish, first of the morning, on the spinnerbait. It's hard to beat a good spinnerbait. That's just a little trout. Real pretty. We don't want to touch it if we can get away with it. Show it to the camera. Super, super beautiful. But a little too small. For us to take home so as best as we can stop 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 I'm gonna let you go of course I have the barb smashed down in this there's a fish feels a little better yeah that's a little better Still pretty small, but a beautiful rainbow nonetheless. And get this hook out of him, take a picture, and let him go. Go on. There we go. Not bad. Came off that hump. I'm 
Man, these are little, but they're real pretty. My goodness. I mean, it just doesn't get much prettier than this, you guys. Take a look at this. Look at how beautiful this little guy is. Let's see if we can get him off without touching him at all. That's always my goal. There we go. Free and clear. Oh, that's a good one, boys and girls. That is a good one. How do you like those apples? There's the fish. He's got a couple of sores on him. Wrong way. <laughs> There's another one. That's decent. This one might be eaten size. They're all coming out of this deep hole this morning, folks. This is number five. Eh, it's probably half a pound. That's about the average size that they stock out of here. Um, but just some real, real pretty fish. Another beauty. Well, folks, it is Monday morning, October 16th. I'm up at the top hole, which I normally don't fish for trout. I normally hit bass, and there's some pretty bass in here. Um, but I, I've seen them rising up, so I changed tactics. I'm throwing a little rooster tail. I believe this is an eighth ounce or a sixth ounce, it's one of the two. Probably an eighth ounce. It's what I normally like to throw. It feels like about an eighth ounce. And this is sort of a brown, oh, that one chased it right up. Sort of a brown trout pattern. Lots of flash on it. But I've also noticed coming over this hump, there is a hump out here, kind of a channel dig in between the hump on both sides. There's one. That's almost too too light. We got a big one following it. Almost looks like there's a bass following it. It, it. it is. It was. Now this, folks, is perfect eating size. I believe this one might be some supper. That was a big old small mouth. Just rose up. There's another trout, I think. Fights like a trout. Looks like a trout. Yep, I think that's a trout. Little guy, though. There's a fish. Decent one. Came right off that rock. This might be eater number two. Yep, perfect eating size. Just a beautiful fish. There we go. Man, this thing is getting chewed up, but that's okay. <laughs> Holy moly. This thing, uh, this used to do some serious damage for me in Maryland on the trout streams and Lake Artemisia. Just this if I can get you a better shot of this. That's all I'm using, folks. Right there. Ooh, that's a decent one.
also a beautiful eater fish. Man, look at the colors on this, folks. I have to show you. Easy, bud. Look at how pretty this trout is. My goodness. Come on, fish. Oh, that was a good hit, folks. Dang it. Oh, frustrating. Make your heart race, too. That's the beauty of this. The next cast could be that Big Daddy Bow. Or Big Daddy Brown. You just never know what's going to happen. Trout fishing is so much fun. And I tell you, it's easy. Unless you're fly fishing now. I am at best a scratchy crusty novice at fly fishing but trout fishing and spin fishing is pretty easy even for the kids so it's a great way to introduce children to the sport it's uh, one of the first experiences I had as a young adult you know we'd where I come from we would be hiking through snow on opening day in March. There's one, and that's a decent one. Let's see if I can keep it pinned. Ah! Fights like it's decent, but still, a good eater none the same, nonetheless. Look at the colors on these folks. I mean, it's just gorgeous colors. Actually, I think we're gonna let you go. You're not hooked hard. Get you low to the ground and get you right back in the water. Come on. Come on. Not hook, baby. Come on. There we go. Nice. So I'm making a promise to all my viewers right now. Ooh, this is getting muddy. It's a, a lot of red clay and mud on this particular riverbed, this section of the Spring River. But I'm also making you guys a promise that I will properly clean my GoPro lens when I get home today. Um, I know it's getting pretty crusty. It's been on a lot of adventures with me over the last few weeks. And uh, before I go to Bass Fish Disney, I promise it'll be nice and squeaky clean for y'all. There's a big turtle over there trying to get right on the edge of the shadow that's another spot where they'll just kind of hang out and then the, the ridge there we go man back to back back to back I mean you can just have fun all day with these trout folks Turned on the stream. I wonder if they're releasing. You know, that water pressure really go up downstream of me just a little bit. There's a, an outpouring. I have a... Come on. Get off of here. Go back in the water. So they're generating a lot of water just downstream from me. Um, there's quite a bit of current in those trout. That's really going to turn the bite on up there. I'll jump over this rock, see if I can pull one off this rock. Come on, fit. Yep. Dang, missed it. Short bit. Short bit. Fish, little guy.
but beautiful. There's one, a little better. Oh, can I keep it pinned? That's a decent fish. Is it a decent fish? It was fighting like it was decent. I'm just kind of surfing it back now. It gave up on me. Yeah, probably eater number five. I've limited out, I don't know, a dozen times now. I rested the water for about 15 minutes tossed around it. Well, shoot. That didn't take long. Keep it pinned. <laughs> they are extremely active. In this water today. And just look at how pretty. Off it goes. Healthy as a horse. Oh, there's, there's a bass right in front of me. Nope, that's a trout. That is a trout. Just came up to take a look at what I had to offer. Y'all see it right there? Pretty trout. <laughs> that means that they're all over the place. That's a beautiful trout, you guys. Coming right back. Pumpkin seeds in here. You gonna turn on it? Nope. Gonna keep moving on. Not at all interested in what I had to offer. Come on, fish. One more. One more for the boys and girls at home. There you are. Oh, thanks for helping me keep my promise to our viewing audience. Not a huge one, but my goodness, they're always fun. Always fun. Very pretty. How is he hooked? Just one in? No, two in. Easy, bud. Easy. Stop. Just one in. Not handling him hard at all. He's barely hooked. We just want to pop that out. Thank goodness those barbs are smashed. Comes right out. And off he goes. Thanks for hanging out with me today. I've really enjoyed spending some time with you guys. Had a very successful morning. Overall, we did uh, probably 20 fish. And uh, I'm going to get back and clean these guys. And uh, probably just pan fried in a little salt pepper butter tonight. Real simple. Have a great one. Thanks.